What up? This is Ram Ashkin covering Movies TV and Entertainment and here's my review of Mind Cage. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. Let's rock this. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the number one worst of the worst movie of 2022. Don't worry, I'll be making my annual compilation list pretty soon. Now that we're nearing the end of the year again, and trust me, among them will be this crapola. Oh my god, this movie is laughably bad. I'm even seriously thinking of re-watching it again, because it's so bad, it's funny. And the whole time I was like, is this a joke? Is this some kind of a parody? An SNL skit perhaps? Surely somebody's pulling a prank on me or something, right? Now here's a simple way to describe Mind Cage. It's a poor man's second-rate copycat of Silence of the Lambs. Which is ironic, because this film deals with copycat murders, and I could not keep a straight face because the characters are constantly taking everything way too seriously. And get this, if you think that the script by itself is already awful and moronic, like it's written by some schmuck with a David Fincher, Delusions of Grandeur. Well, in addition to that, the twist reveal at the end will get you rolling on the floor, cracking up to no end. It is so, so goddamn stupid. <laughs> Written by Reggie K. O'Hara III and directed by Mauro Borelli, in Mind Cage, detectives Jake and Mary seek the help of an incarcerated serial killer named The Artist when a copycat killer strikes. While Mary searches for clues in the artist's brilliant but twisted psyche, she and Jake are lured into a diabolical game of cat and mouse, racing against time to stay one step ahead of the artist and his copycat. Starring Martin Lawrence, Melissa Roxburgh, John Malkovich, and Robert Nepper. So yeah, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, Mind Cage is basically like Silence of the Lambs if Silence of the Lambs was shitty. John Malkovich is basically playing a Hannibal Lecter type, and Melissa Roxburgh is basically playing a Clarice Sterling type. And you see, somebody out there has been killing women in the same style and manner that John's character, the artist, used to kill his victims. So she goes back and forth to prison to regularly meet him, and he does his silly doodling and spews his gobbledygook, and you're supposed to fall for that trick, thinking, ooh, this is a psychological thriller between two equal opponents. But trust me, there's nothing smart nor perplexing about their conversations, and the suspense is dry as shit. This whole thing is the work of a pretentious screenwriter drowning in his own sense of self-importance. And hey look, it's Martin Lawrence trying out drama. Now, I don't want to be too dismissive. You know, I mean, if a comedian wants to flex his dramatic muscles, then hey, you do you, boo. Best of luck with that. But I've watched this film, and Martin Lawrence unfortunately and miserably fails on all accounts. To my point earlier about them taking things too seriously, well, he's the worst offender of them all on that front. And I kind of feel bad for him because the twist reveal at the end is done at his expense. And boy, he does not come out of that looking good at all. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion and a sure contender for the next Razzie award. I mean, his performance here is not something that he should be bragging about, ever. I don't know what else to tell you, man, other than skip this movie at all cost. Do not, I repeat, do not waste your time and energy on sitting through Mind Cage unless, unless you are planning to enjoy it solely for its unintentional comedy, which it has plenty of. Because you know what they say, laughter is the best medicine. Especially when you're laughing at a piece of stinking garbage like Mind Cage.